Hello everyone, this is TJ with Avidyne. In the following brief video we're going to be discussing the interface between the IFD and the Garmin G5 systems. As always, nothing in the following video is FA approved data. Um, it's for reference use only. For FA approved data, uh, please take a look at the IFD installation manual. Make sure you're looking at the latest revision. So jumping right in, um, <clears throat> there are several variations of this interface. Um, this particular variant uh, using the G5 system as an EFIS system, so you've got an attitude indicator and an HSI, along with a GAD 29B. This is the one we're going to look at because it, it covers the most ground, um, and, and it should make you know, any of the other variants of this interface uh, a lot simpler by, by taking a look at this. So let's jump in. Uh, first and foremost we've got an RS-232 output from the IFD that's going to be MAP MX format and that line does get paralleled um, to both your attitude indicator and the HSI assuming you have dual G5s of course. Um, IFD GPS airing 429 out uh, this is out of the 1001 connector, so it's our main airing 429 out. Uh, we're going to set that guy up for low speed, gamma 429 as the data format. Also on our main airing 429 config page, we're going to go ahead and set up our SDI to designate this as an IFD number 1 or an IFD number 2 by selecting LNAV 1 or LNAV 2. And we're going to set our VNAV setting for enable labels. And that allows the IFD to spit out the airing 429 labels associated with uh, vertical guidance on GPS approach. Next, we've got an airing 429 out of the GAD 29 or 29B um, out to the IFD. On the IFD end of this, we're going to want to set this up for GAD 42 and low speed. And it's also important to note that this single um, data bus, this single RF or uh, single airing 429 pair, um, provides the air data info as well as all of the GAD info uh, from the GAD 29B. So there's no reason to dedicate two separate ports, one for air data and one for the GAD. We can set that for GAD 42, and it will accept all of that data coming in. Okay. And then, out of the IFD, um, the VOR localizer glide slope airing 429 out. We're going to set that guy up for low speed, and we're going to set it for VHF 429. <clears throat> and again, there's an SDI setting here where we can designate our unit as a number 1 or a number 2 uh, by selecting VOR ILS 1 or VOR ILS 2 on the SDI setting. And that pretty much covers this interface. So, as always, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to contact tech support. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.